We have been blessed with a natural light today. Hello there, and welcome to... What is this? It's like a bad makeup science ripoff <laughs> kind of thing. Listen, I think we all want to live like Sophia and I guard sometimes. And today I have an idea on how to do that. I have a clean palette, as clean as it gets. And I also have my blush collection from Made by Mitchell. Listen, these like liquid blushes are kind of getting like absurdly popular and absurdly big. So they started off with just like blushes, period. Great. Then they started with bronzers. Great idea. I totally approved. Then they started going in with like more and more crazy colors. Again, I heavily approved. And then they also started with highlighters. So we have like multiple different finishes, textures. They're slightly different, but not really. So there's like so much going on. And also we have this absolute gem, the shade Drip Drip, which is apparently now the most popular thing on the goddamn internet. So yeah, I thought, you know what? I have a lot of these. I may have enough of these to like mix them together and do like the ultimate blush. So that's what we're doing today, pretty much. I'm gonna go through the collection, I'm gonna show you the shades, I'm gonna put them all on the palette. Hi there. And then I'm gonna show you what my average blush looks like. Let's get to it, shall we? We're gonna take a trip down the memory lane. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I got these two shades first. These are the oldest from the first launch. And they are Mango Daikiri and Peach Sugar. Very classic shades, everyone loves them. Yeah, Mango Daikiri was so unique because it is like a very orange shade. And now for the measurements, I think I'll just swirl around the wand. And then I'll just kind of like put it here. Like just try to, you know, get as much as I can from the wand. But yeah, Mango Daikiri, in theory, beautiful shade in practice. It takes a minute to pull it off. It's not an easy shade to wear. Peach Sugar is a little bit more standard blush shade for me, but it's a little bit deeper than I would like. There we have it, Peach Sugar. I'm pretty sure the next was probably the bronzer. I have the shade Shady Business, which is just amazing. It is not very full at the moment. Like I really need a refill. <laughs> And let's just put you right here next to those other ones. Oh yeah, then I vividly remember getting these two. This is Melon Serpe and Can't Cope With Coral. Again, very, very famous shades. I feel like there was another one with these that I didn't get. Yeah, but these two were classic. Like, Melon Serpe is my go-to shade for when I'm going on vacation and stuff. It's just like a beautiful, beautiful, like, dusty orange. And again, Can't Cope With Coral wasn't quite what I was expecting. It is almost like neon. And I didn't get as much use of it as I would have liked. But it still looks pretty cute. Then we have the Milk Collection, which had three shades that were absolutely amazing. Of course, we have Milk Mix, which was like the white mixing shade that I actually got a ton of use for because some of these shades were a bit too dark for me. So this was like a... A perfect solution how to actually get some use out of all of them. And then we had the shade Cowlick, which is like a hot, hot pink. I didn't get like all that much use out of it. Oh, this one's a bit more liquidy than the others. And then we have Dairy Queen, which is purple, but oh my god, this is such a flattering purple. It is absolutely incredible. This purple got me into purple blush. And now I'm like a regular purple blush user. Then I have this launch. I think this was like a Valentine's Day launch. The shades are Papaya Pudding, Toasted Terracotta, and Very Berry. These are a bit more on the deeper side, but they're absolutely beautiful. And this is where you're really glad to have that white mixing medium. The shade Very Berry is like a berry purple, but it's so... It's just... It's just so like unique and different, a beautiful, beautiful shade. Then we have Toasted Terracotta, which is a little bit too deep for me, I'll admit. But it is a very pretty like terracotta orange, almost like an orangey brown shade. And then we have Papaya Pudding, which has a little bit more of that readiness, I think. Great, great shade. And then I think I have like the Dreams collection. I got it in a set. So there's a whole lot of different colors. Okay, this one for some reason, again, got really popular. This is strawberry cream. Everyone's losing their mind about this. They're using it for like the pink under eye trend, I think. 
and I like it. It's it's a really nice like very pale pink, right? Then I have Dream Screen, which is green. Then we have 1998, which is a beautiful, beautiful yellow. Then we have Minted, which is a beautiful blue. I think that these are more meant to be used on the eyes, probably. Then we have Love Lies, which is absolutely stunning. I would definitely use this lilac as a blush, I think, though. And lastly, we have Darling Peach. This is just an incredible peachy orange. It's like very dusty, very like 80s. Really pretty, really, really pretty. Then I have one from, I think it was the Bears collection, is the shade Tickled Taupe, because I thought it would be a good bronzer. And it is, it's a nice taupey color, but it's a bit different in tone than the bronzer, of course. So there we have them so far. Then I have the Pride collection. <laughs> so we're gonna see what this does to the color. So this is Belief, a neon red. I think I got the most wear out of this. Next we have Loud, which is a beautiful orange. I really appreciate how many oranges does Mitchell make. Like there are so many orange shades that are so different from each other, it's insane. Then we have this beautiful shade, Unique, which is like a neon green yellow, like a true true highlighter kind of color. Next we have a beautiful dark green in the shade Respect. Then a stunning blue in the shade Safe. And the last shade is Happy, which is a beautiful, beautiful purple with a little bit of a warmer undertone than the previous one. And there we go, those are the swatches so far. And last but not least, we also have the shimmery shades. So as I already said, I have Drip Drip, which is a beautiful, like, chromey, silver. It's a very pretty, pretty, pretty thing. This can be used on the eyes and be, like, incredible. Then I have Champagne Spray, which is a beautiful, just champagne-y gold, very pretty highlighter. I feel like the highlighters are a little bit more almost oily in texture than the regular blushes. And then lastly, I have Candy Drip, which is probably the newest one I have, which I bought because it looked really pretty online. So there we go, Candy Drip. And this, my friends, is our just everything we have. Those are all the swatches. So I'm gonna go ahead and try and mix them together with... I don't know with what should I mix it? I'm just gonna use this concealer brush and we're just gonna try and mix this and see what comes out. Wow, like this is... this is wild. <laughs> that is a very interesting color. I'm gonna try to go ahead and blend everything once again. And this is our final shade. So I'm gonna go ahead now do my makeup at least a little bit, and we're gonna try to apply it, like, everywhere. <laughs> and we're back with a little bit of foundation and concealer on. I quickly just set my under eyes, put on a little bit of a skin tint, and now we're ready to go. Oh yeah, we have our beautiful, beautiful blush. It's getting a little bit dark outside, so I am going to turn on the ring light, just so we can really see the color. This is what it looks like. This is matching my hair, like, perfectly. This is, like, spot on. So I think I'm just gonna... Apply this and blend it up with something else, I guess. And there we have it. It is a tiny bit patchy, but I think it's because it kind of dried a bit while I was doing the rest of my makeup. I'm gonna try to apply it straight from the palette. Okay, this is a bit better. I feel like it looks a bit more intense on the camera than it actually looks on me, but yeah, that's fine.
So yeah, I use it on my cheeks, I use it on my eyes, I use it on my lips. Blush on the lips is actually really nice. And yeah, this is the leftover of our beautiful, beautiful blush. So what's the verdict? I think it kind of partially reflects the color, the things that I gravitate towards the most. So we have a lot of pink, a lot of this like dustiness in it and also a lot of orange and brown so you can definitely tell that i'm gravitating towards the orangey tones which is definitely obvious from the pan of swatches and also you cannot really see any of the crazy colors any blues any greens it's very subtle it was just kind of toning the finishing orange i did use champagne spray as my highlight and i did use drip drip in my inner corners but I think this shade of blush is actually beautiful. But it does remind me a lot of Darling Peach. Although Darling Peach is a lot less vibrant. I think they're similar when they're applied, but not really like next to each other. But oh boy, oh boy, did I have fun today with this? I did, I really did. You can still see those tiny shimmers on my cheeks and on my lips from the drip drip because it is a very, almost like gel with glitters. It's a very unique texture. And you can definitely see some sheen happening because of the highlight as well. So I think that's fair to say that it does kind of reflect my life choices. <laughs> but all of these blended so like seamlessly together. And this is what they are supposed to do. So if you have any blushes, blend them, have fun with them. Because this is what they were supposed to do in the first place. And... Yeah, that's that's it. That was just a fun little video, you know, me doing some bad makeup science myself. Yeah, again, shout out to Sophia that uh, she introduced us to this world of combinations and uh, go check her out if you like mixing weird stuff together because it's very fun to watch, I guarantee. <laughs> so thank you very much for watching, consider subscribing, and if you want to see more videos where I talk about makeup, you can check out the playlist. See ya!